this lot is hideous to me. So I'm going to strip it down, spray paint it black, see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, we will replace it because gold and white that isn't white anymore just doesn't work for me. I have cleaned the fan. I'm going to let it dry good before I spray paint it. I have a piece of uh, styrofoam to hold behind it as I spray it. Uh, it got a little whiter than I thought it was going to get. I'm telling you, take a good cleaner to your stuff. You might be surprised. room was tan if you remember so we did prime the walls thank goodness Kevin is rolling the wall you can tell he's got the it's it's a real light it's called silver lace isn't it something like that it's really light and we love it with the ceiling and then the the baseboards will be a brighter white yeah, you can see where he has painted and had him. Getting it. The dining room is painted. And we've got to get our vents changed a lot. I'm in here to do the trim. The white trim is done. It's nice when you're replacing the floor and you can get paint all over it. Got the window trimmed out. I have beautiful curtains for this. So I have to get. Kevin's working hard on the dining room floor, trying to get done. We're out of canned cat food. He better hurry up. <laughs> much more my cat complaining <laughs> oh man yeah he's working hard on father's day i have a story to tell the dining room light i was going to use the boy said no no don't use it it's too outdated and it was actually too heavy for me and kevin to hang I got this urchin lamp. I have it in a video. I got it at the Goodwill. And it was $9.99. And I grabbed it so quick. You'll have to go watch the video. I'll try to remember to put a link in here. But I got it and it was so dirty. It had hung in somebody's house a long time. I brought it home and I it was greasy. I sprayed degreaser on it and it discolored it. It was gorgeous, and look at how it discolored. It just discolored the whole thing. And so, yes, 
Uh, it is brass, and yes, or it's brass plated. Some pieces are brass. It's got some weight to it. This ball part here, it's it's weighty. And uh, I don't know. But I'm gonna spray paint it black. I know, I know, I cringe, I cringe, but I just looked up light fixtures and the cheapest one that I would tolerate is 90 bucks. And it makes me sick to think of the ones that were at the Habitat store that I'll try to remember to put that link in there too. I don't know if I can do that, but I'll try. But anyway, I got this for $9.99 and I looked them up online for sold comps. And the lowest comp was $446 at the time. So I put it on a marketplace for like $250, I think. Because then somebody could research it and know that that was a bargain. And I, I took a picture of this here. I had it hanging and I took a blind picture of it and I posted it online and it had the $9.99 price sticker on it and I was listing it for $250. I got 300 and something views on Facebook on it and I just don't know how many people actually saw it and caught it or how many people were looking at my listing and laughing and sharing it and laughing. <laughs> so, I, of course, obviously I pulled it off. And I said, I'm going to keep it. Well, then after time, that that dang degreaser, it discolored it. And I hate it. But I'm going to paint it black and put it in the dining room to sell the house. And here it is. Painted black. And that is going to look really nice hanging over my black table. Yes, it is. Here, let me have it. And there is my $9.99 Goodwill find that I had to paint. Was rolling the dice on if it worked. We were like, oh man, the bulbs. We may never find the bulbs. They had the bulbs. Look, it's, Kevin said, I can't take it down. I said, I want to keep it. He said, nope. Yesterday, when I did this side of the cabinets, I, I did remove the hinges and I did boil them and I did uh, clean on them. There's still just a little bit of stuff. we built the house we didn't have trim around the doorways here we we locked it like that over there with no trim but then I decided oh yes we're putting in the big baseboards and we're adding the big trim and what I didn't think about was that my drawer's not going to open. Yep. So, I've got to take this drawer front off. And we'll cut it off and sand it. And you're really never going to know. Uh, you're really never going to know because when it's shut, you have cabinet that shows that will be painted. And I think it'll be okay. I'd rather be able to open the drawer. And have the trim. So that's my faux pas. I have it here. And on a small drawer. On the other side of the kitchen. So I'm going to get these off. So I can get them cleaned and painted. And Kevin has started painting. The ceiling and the walls are going to be the same color. 
and I'm painting the wall color onto the V board and then my trim will be a different white. So I'm going to get this island done today, clean the top off, prepare it for the stain and get it stained also. to get rid of the glue and the paint and the things I have, I've gotten on it. Uh, this is about six years old, I think. Maybe eight. I just really can't remember. So before the stain, 